All right, let's bring in Melissa Armo. She's the founder and owner of The Stocks, which, Melissa, thanks for joining us. Melissa, we had a record-breaking number of Americans filing initial jobless claims today, almost 3.3 million people. We have no idea when the economy is going to restart. And stocks surged for the third straight day. What is driving this rally, Melissa? I really think that this is this rally that we've seen in the last three days is not going to continue. And I think what's going to happen is that the rally, the buying that you've seen is going to create even more selling. I don't know when that comes in, but I think it's going to be sooner than later because I believe people were thinking that the market is extended and it's sold off and they're thinking, wow, now's the time to jump right back in and buy. This is a great price for the S&P or the Dow or any stocks that people like. And unfortunately, I think because this pandemic is continuing, that it's going to mean continued selling and the buying, the people that bought are going to sell because you can't have selling without buyers and it's going to push the market down even further. So what has happened in the last three days, I am not looking at as something that's going to be positive for the short term future of markets. All right, but Melissa, do you think it's safe to say that we've hit a bottom here? Are you ready to make that call? No, we definitely haven't hit a bottom. That's what I'm saying. We're going to see more selling. We're definitely going to see more selling, in my opinion. I I'm, I'm, think we're going to I'm, dip b below. All right. Do you think we're going to dip below the, the level that we've seen uh, markets tank to now? Because some are saying that perhaps we have hit uh, the bottom over here. So what are you advising? You're saying that a stock like Boeing, for example, which many believe is too big to fail, up 24% just today. Many believe that there's no way that at the end of all of this, we're still not going to need airplanes and that the U.S. government is always going to prop up a company like Boeing. Would you be buying Boeing right now? I wouldn't be buying anything right now if you want the honest truth. I think that people need to wait. If you're an active trader, you could short. If you are in the market for long-term investments, then stay the course. But I don't see any reason to be buying in this market right now. The only reason we've had this rally is because of the expectation of a stimulus package that's going to support companies like Boeing. And as we're talking about the Fed, I really think that the driver for these markets is going to be the banking sector, the financial sector, not tech, which in previous markets you saw tech would be the driver for markets. I think you got to watch the banks, JPM, Goldman Sachs. You need to watch what happens with that. The reason the Fed came in and said unlimited, they're, they're willing to do whatever it takes, is because they want banks to feel like they don't have to hang on so tightly to their cash. Otherwise, they probably would. So the fact is that the, the Fed wants to support banks lending money to businesses. However, if they're almost like bridge loans to help them get through to continue keeping companies on payroll. But the problem is no one knows when all these businesses are going to open up again. And we're really waiting on the administration. So if the administration comes out in the next three but, to four days and says we're going to we're going to be closed for another another 15 days. Guess what? You're going to see more selling in the market. Melissa, one thing that is certain at this moment is uncertainty, a lot of uncertainty across the board, as you say. Thank you so much, Melissa Armo.